if you could say I'm Master Sergeant Eric England and I was a sniper in the Marine Corps, can you say that for us on camera? But like, like I say, if I do that, I'm going to get more mail and more aggravating. I get these letters all the time, and I get tired of it. It gets old. When you get older, you kind of like to be left alone, you know? It seems like as I get older, it gets worse, and it's like shooting. I'd rather it just be forgot, too, you know? If you've never been there, you don't know what it is. You don't know hardly how to explain it. Now, there's a few people. You'll see them. They'll brag about it. They love it. But I'm not a glory hound. Never have been and never will be. It's your job to provide that accuracy. There's no mystery about good shooting. Observe a set of simple rules and anyone can become a consistently good shot. I had a first cousin that went in in 48. He stayed at Paris Island four years, and he was on the rifle range, a coach, part of the time. And he'd tell me, just come down here, and we can shoot, shoot a lot. I, I like that shooting a lot. Well, I, I love shooting, and I love to be a good shot because being a good shot makes a better Marine. I want to be a good Marine, and which I consider myself uh, better than the average Marine because I can shoot better than the average Marine. What inspired me a lot in them days was Chesty Fuller. When I got distinguished at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina in 1954, Chesty presented my distinguished badge to me. About Vietnam, well, it's like all wars, <laughs> it ain't no good feeling. Especially some of the jobs you have. That's just like shooting marksmanship at targets. So what was it like shooting in war versus shooting in competitions? Was, was your mindset different? Yeah, your mind's got to be the same. You've got to get a good shot off. When you go up and get that one shot off, you try to put yourself in another world. You try to put yourself in a little bubble and you, you cut the world out and you just concentrate on them, them things that you've got to do to get a good shot off. Because if you don't, you could be dead. I got my walking papers and walked out and they paid me off and it felt like the world ended. It was a long road at 600 miles here, and it seemed like 6,000 miles getting home. And I guess some people are happy to say goodbye and get home. I was the other way. I just, I didn't feel right. The greatest thing ever happened to me when I went in the military. If I'd never went in the military, I'd have never been nothing. The military helped me. It really helped me, the Marine Corps did. It helped me. It made me what I am. I'm Marine, I'm proud of it.